Hey guys, welcome back. Gavin here with another video. I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, yeah, first of all, I want to say thank you very much for 1000 subscribers, which is insane. Uh, I can't believe that 1000 people um, find my videos interesting enough to give me a subscription on YouTube. Um, I mean, if you imagine 1000 people, that's 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 a huge huge amount of people. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much for that. Um, today's video will be a bit more uh, rambly, I would call it. Um, it's uh, a bit more on the business side of the grade, the grading world. Um, and that video will be about what questions do I ask my clients um, before starting a project. Um, there are several questions that I like, um, questions like, um, what, what project is it? What company, what brand is it for? Of course, uh, those, those are questions that are important in itself, but, um, most of the time the client will, will give you that info beforehand. Um, so, um, how this goes is that the client calls me or writes me an email and if they write me an email we'll be on the phone soon to uh, just check all the important questions that I have for them and sometimes they even have some questions for me but it's rather the other way around. So the first question uh, you can already see it here is when is the grading scheduled so when when is it planned so of course uh, if you have several, several jobs uh, incoming or you have uh, you know a calendar where you keep track of all of that stuff you have to check of course um, when when do you plan to have this grading done and uh, so you can tell them oh I don't have time there or can we postpone it one or two days or stuff like that okay then uh, I asked them how many days do you have scheduled for the grade um, so um, an experienced producer will most of the time know what they have or it's a budget question, okay? So that's the first questions I ask. Then we have, uh, yeah, next one, what budget do you have? So if they say, well, we have um, half a day or one day or two days. So me personally, I don't do half days, um, most of the time at least except that it's a very good friend of mine and I know that it's a cool project then sometimes I do half days but most of the time I don't it's you know with data uh, management and stuff like that it's uh, it's most of the time it's one day for a grade at least um, and that questions uh, question also relates to the first one that I, that I gave you how many days so if they have if, if they don't have a lot of budget you can you know if they have budget for one day so I'm at 1000 euros for example for for one day and I, they just have 1000 I can already tell them hey it's just I can just grade it for one day you know every project um, can be graded for a week or one or two days it always depends on the budget and how much time you are willing to put into it okay then we have the third question how many shots rather than how long is the film so um, a lot of the time the client or the producer or the DOP or the, the editor, whoever's calling you, you know, the end client, not the end client, but the person who is calling you. Oh man, I'm, it's much, more, <laughs> it's much uh, more complicated than I want to say it. So a lot of the time they just give you the, the, the time of the film. So they say, oh, it's a five, four minute film uh, commercial. It's a commercial with 30 seconds. It's a commercial with uh, several versions, but, but with 30 seconds. So um, you're, you're starting to get an idea of, you know, how, how much time you need for a commercial with 30 seconds, for example. But, but more important than the length of this stuff, when they tell you the length of this stuff is how many shots does it have? It, it could be a 30 second commercial um, that has, you know, countless shots, you know, because it's, it's edited in a very quick manner and um, also there are 30 seconds commercials or 15 seconds commercials with just one shot you know it, it really depends on the on the on the number of the shots not the length of the project so that's an important one um oh that should be number four what did i do there so question number four is picture lock um so very important i in the past started to grade some projects and um, 
I uh, got some changes to the edit <laughs> after the grade or during the grade, and that's uh, yeah, that costs money in the end because they have to send me new stuff i have to download new stuff I, I have to upload new stuff i have to get a new timeline i have to you know uh maybe great additional shots so i always ask was there is there a picture lock because if i can tell me if the if there is a picture lock then we're all fine um it takes x amount of days and we're done and if they come after and say hey we have some changes then it usually costs more money so you know that's when i go for half days you know I, one plus half days is always possible so i always do one day and everything after that can be half days so i do one day one and a half days two days two and a half days etc so picture lock very important so picture lock means most of you guys will know that that the edit is final and uh there won't be any additions to the edit and yeah so it, it stays that way then we have question number five what cameras were used and did they use a lot on set so of course um if, if they tell you that they have a mix of you know five cameras a red an airy <laughs> two drones uh sony fx sex uh, sex <laughs> Holy shit, sorry. <laughs> Sony FX, FX6. Holy fuck, man. <laughs> um, so, you know, uh, uh, a wild number of cameras used. So I can definitely say in those project projects that it takes uh, more time to grade this one. So that's quite important, especially because you have to match all these looks and, you know, you have to get the information from the DOP, which which lot did they use on set to uh, for the client to see so that's the next question did they use a lot on set if for the client monitor uh, if they had one or if the client was on set because um everything that the client saw on set they most of the time like and it's a good starting point and that's where you can uh, you know um just uh, begin your grade with so that, that's um, also good information to have. Um, then number six, what end format resolution, frame rate, file format? So what, what, um, what are the deliverables? What resolution do you, uh, do you give them in the end? What frame rate, what file format? Is it a ProRes in the end? Do they need DPX? Do they need you know uh the shots with handles so they so you can already tell them hey the editor has to give me shots with handles of course <laughs> if you need that or um what uh what do they want to do after that is, is there a vfx put on the shots or stuff like that you know so so you just know for the end of the projects what do they get um, how many versions uh, 16 by 9 9 by 16 so a lot of my projects right now are I do 16 by 9 standard version then they want to have um, the mobile versions for, for, for TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that sometimes they do this by themselves so those are also very important questions I mean all of the questions here are important uh, that save you time and saves the client money in the end which uh, they should appreciate definitely um then number seven contact info of the editor 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 <laughs> um so uh most of the time the editor <laughs> i love that word will give you uh the the footage you have to grade so you um should call him up her up whatever person that is and tell them what you need you know sometimes they will call call you by themselves which is great um so so um you can just tell them what you need to grade this project and you can also ask them what what do you need in the end because do you have to do something with it in the end do, do you have to add titles or do you have do you have to add graphics and stuff like that um also uh very useful could be the contact information of the dp and the director so you can uh, ask them what kind of look they're going for or if they have an idea if if they can send you some um you know uh, a look reference you can use or a lot they really like and they used and maybe they can give you the information of the look they used on set 
Then we have number eight, remote or with the client? So that's a question that's also, also very important. And that is, um, do you grade it remotely? Do they want to see a live stream? Because you can do that in today today's day and age. Um, do the, does the client want to uh, watch your live stream so he can give you feedback live? Or does the client or the DP or the director want to sit uh, in the back and just uh, watch you work and work with you together? So that totally changes, you know, the dynamic of the project. Um, there are some projects which I like, which I like to do remotely, um, and most of the time, they people don't have people don't have time. And there's some, uh, you know, especially people that I know or that I got to know in 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 the last few years that I like to work with, where it's it's a lot of fun to sit together and do the great together. Um, and the last pair of questions. Um, I already mentioned that a few questions before that is VFX before or after. So do you put on titles? Do you as a colorist, uh, you know, put on motion graphics, uh, you know, they have to give you special deliver de deliveries for that, you know, just uh, alpha footage with alpha you can put on. So always the questions do you do that or does it somebody else in the end so you don't have to take care of that and if if that's the case that that you you have to do it then it's mostly at least a half a day extra because that stuff takes time and uh, also retouches you know uh, removing small pimples and faces for beauty commercials um which is pretty easy to do in da vinci or small stuff you can always uh, you know even offer that stuff you know i i already had some commercials especially for beauty stuff where i asked them hey should i remove this little pimple here or this uh you know this makeup makeup products always have like fingerprints on them and sometimes you can remove them quite easily and uh should should i do that for you and then ask them hey i mean uh, what what uh, uh, can I charge for that? Because uh, otherwise you can keep it like that or, or you go to somebody else. And uh, But for me, you get it out of one hand, you know? So, yeah. So that's uh, the nine questions that I always ask besides the basic stuff like what brand, what product, what, what type of commercial is it? And uh, if you keep those in mind and, you know, maybe do yourself a small list, then you should be should be good in the end. Um, yeah, so I hope you like this one and I hope to see you in the next video as well. See you then. Bye bye.